Let's see if we can rewrite 6 twelfths, 6 twelfths as a decimal. And once again, I encourage you to pause this video and try this on your own. And I'll give you a little hint. See if you can rewrite this fraction, not in terms of twelfths, but in terms of tenths. Well, let's just visualize this thing. So let's say that this right over here, let's say that this right over here is a twelfth. So that is a twelfth. And so let me try to make 12 twelfths. So copy and paste that. So that's 2 twelfths. That's 2 twelfths. And that is 3 twelfths. And that is, actually, let me just copy and paste it 3 twelfths. So copy and paste. So now we have 6 twelfths, which I'll color it in a second. And now we have 9 twelfths. And now we have 12 twelfths. 12 twelfths right over there. And what we care, we care about six of these twelfths, or this is representing six of these twelfths. So let me see if I can color in six of them. So let me, let me go to, let me see if I can pull this off. So this is going to be one, let me do a bigger paintbrush. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's right, that's six twelfths. Let me just color all of this business in. So there you have, we have represented our fraction. Now how do, we, how do we represent this thing right over here in terms of tenths? So the one thing that I might want to do is, well look, 6 and 12 are both divisible by 6. So what if we divide this, not if we rewrite this whole not in terms of twelfths, but we write it in terms of halves. Well how would we do that? Well we could say, we could call all of this stuff, we could call all of this stuff, this is one half, and this is another half. Or another way of thinking about it is, we're taking six of our twelves together, and then we're putting them together, and we're put, turning them into a half. So in terms of the number of sections we have, we're dividing the number of sections we have by six. So let's do that. So let's divide the number of sections by six, so now we're only going to have we're going, only going to have two sections. We're only going to have two halves. That right over there is one half. And that right over there is the other half. Notice, we had 12 twelfths. Now we're taking six of those at a time, putting them together. So now we only have two sections instead of 12 sections. But those six, those six twelfths, what are they going to be in halves? Well, once again, we took, we we're taking six of the things and putting them together into one. So we're going to divide that by six as well. Divide that by six as well. And so you're, this is going to be the same thing as one half. And you see this one half, you see this one half right over here. And notice, all we did in the past, we had multiplied and divided, sorry, in the past, we had multiplied the numerator and the denominator by the same quantity to get an equivalent fraction. Now we're dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same quantity to get the same fraction. Hopefully, this makes sense that 1 half is equivalent to 6 twelfths. Now, why did I do that? Didn't I say that I wanted to get this in terms of tenths? And yes, I do want to get it in terms of tenths, but 1 half is fairly easy to rewrite in terms of tenths. So let me, let me re-express 1 half. So 1 half, let me write it like this. So 1 half, I could, I could, I could represent 1 half again. I'm going to re-represent 1 half. So let's say this right over here, this right over here is clearly 1 half. So I'm just re-representing it. So I'm taking a whole, dividing it into 2, and 1 half, let me just color it in. One half would be that right over there, which as we already seen, it's equivalent to the six twelfths. Now I want to write this as tenths. So what if I take each of those halves and I turn it into five times as many pieces? I turn it into five times as many pieces. So let me do that. So I'm going to do it into one, one, two, two, three. Four and five. So what did I just do? I multiplied, I now have five times as many pieces, and the one half is going to represent five times as many tenths. So this is going to be equal to five, five over five over ten. 
5 over, let me do that in that green color, 5 tenths. Notice, 6 twelfths is the same thing as 1 half, which is the same thing as 5 tenths. All I did here is I multiplied the numerator and the denominator by the same quantity 5, so I could get 10 in the denominator. And 5 tenths, well, that's the same thing as 5 times 1 tenth. It's literally 5 tenths. And we can represent this as a decimal, or you could kind of say in decimal notation. 5 tenths, we know that, let's say that that is the ones place. And if we go one place to the right of the decimal, that is the tenths place. That right over there is the tenths place. And we have 5 tenths, so we would put a 5 right over there. So this could be rewritten as the decimal 0.5. 0 0.5. Now there's other ways you could have thought about it. You could say, hey, look, 6 is half of 12. And so what is half of 10? Well, 5 is half of 10. And so 5 over 10 is the same thing as 5 tenths, or, which is the same thing as 5 tenths, written as a decimal.